Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss uh, how to use a snipping tool uh, with Microsoft Windows 7. That's what I'm using right now, but it should work on other Windows versions. You should be able to use this. Basically, this is used to take screenshots or snippets or basically images of your computer screen in many different ways. I was basically asked uh, how how to do this earlier and like a while ago and I was I thought might as well just do a video on this with the snipping tool because it's really really good so basically you could either well I have a shortcut right here you could click it looks like this looks like a scissors with a white circle uh, with a white circle right there basically or you could just go to the search and write snipping right here and it should pop up right there so there's a snipping tool so now well, what you can do right here, you, you could either just go do, let's, let's try the free form. You can do a free form rectangle window or full screen snippet. I'll go over these shortly. Let's just go over the free form. Free form is actually however you want it to snip. Let's just say we'll, we'll only take whatever's inside here. So we could split this in half like that, the words, and it's only going to get the words right here. So basically, there you go. It's saved. Like uh, you basically right now, it's uh, this is the, the screenshot you've taken. You could either copy this, save it, or just uh, discard and make a new one. Or you can draw on this. You could do red pen, blue pen, black pen, customize. So you could do this, or you could even highlight this. It doesn't go over them. Yes, yeah, so you can highlight whatever words you want, whatever drawings, etc. You could erase now. You could erase this. And go over it, or you can go, yeah, basically edit. And you, yeah, these are the exact same things that are up here. So you can just work around uh, with this, play around with it, and then let's just save this one, see how it looks like. Let's call this one. So it's saved right now. And if I drag this inside and open this, there you go. This is basically what was saved right here. And you could also email it inside the snipping one right here. Let's drag this out. So this one is an email button right here. You can email if you have email set up on your computer. So now let's look at the uh, other other snippet options. If I just click new again, so or just go back to this. Let's go either a rectangular snippet. Now it's the same thing as before, except you're forced into a rectangle. And once again with this rectangle, this is all it's saved here. You could either draw on it, highlight, etc., email, or, or save it. So we're just gonna order this one. Let's just go now new one. The window snip. This one here is this is same as a full screen if you have just one computer, but like one I mean one computer monitor. Like me, I have three monitors. So if I if I scroll this one, it shows like this. But if I go to another monitor, as you can see, it's this one's blanked out. It's not going to be taking a screenshot of this one. So all I do is just click this, and now now you have a screenshot of the monitor that you clicked right here, the monitor screen. So there's the screenshot right there. So now let's you can either save it, do the same thing as before. I'll just now a new one. Let's just look at the full screen now. The full screen snippet. This one takes it of all your monitors. If you have just one, it's going to be the same as the window snippet. So as you can see, I'll just drag this in right here. So this one is the full screen right here. So the first monitor is the second. And there is the third one, which I'm recording right now. And now another thing, another thing I want to go over, if you just click on this, what you could actually do is now the, the selection one, you could show the selection, uh, the, the outer boundary of it. You could also hide instruction test, uh, prompt to save before closing, etc. And include URL, always copy snip to clip, etc. You don't really need to go into detail on this, but this one's pretty uh, useful right here. You, if you want to show the ink marker, I'll show you what I mean if I just go click show selection ink after snips are captured. Now let's just go to a uh, actually a free form right here just to better illustrate. So as you can see if I draw this, as you see there's the red that's there and you could also save this and it's going to be the same. And now it's going to show the red there. So if I open this one, so as you can see there's the red outer boundary save. This one doesn't have that red. This one does yeah, and basically, once again, if I go to the options, you could change the color of that to any of these ones right here. I'm just going to turn this off because I don't really want it on right now for mine. But uh, anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully, you'll learn from this uh, tutorial on a really useful uh, program, the snipping tool. Make sure to use it. I'll put in the shortcut there because it's just pretty amazing. Well, that's all for today. And yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.